Good morning. Good morning and a very warm morning, welcome sir. once again to Empowering Morning Conversations. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. And here we are once again to create our day rather than just live a life of survival. So let me start with a question. What will you add to your life today that will allow you to create a future that you desire? I repeat that question. What will you add to your life today that will allow you to create a future that you desire? Where are you going to focus your attention on today? So if we are here every morning, to shift out of the survival mode and get into the creation mode. I mean, something very, very basic, you know, is what we can start to do is that whenever our attention gets fixed on a problem and we are valuing in the problem and we are saying, why is this problem happening? It should not be happening and this and, and, and that. We first shift our attention to what is possible. And how do we do that? We ask a question, what else is possible? Or we ask a question like, how does it get better than that? And why do we do that? Because we would like to have all of life that comes to us with ease, joy, and glory. So instead of wasting time reacting to or resisting whatever is happening right now, if I shift my attention from there into what is possible, if I shift my attention to what, from what I don't want. See, when we are in a resistant and reaction mode, you might have noticed that we our attention is on what we don't want. So we've got our attention on what we don't want. Is that going to serve me? Because I focus my attention on what I don't want, I'll have more of what I don't want. Do I want more of what I don't want? I certainly don't. So when I shift my attention to what I desire, then the possibility that what I desire might show up. Okay, so let's do a little clearing this morning. So what energy, space and consciousness can I be that will allow me to keep my attention on possibilities rather than shifting my, keeping my attention on limitations? So what energy, space, and consciousness can I be that would allow me to be in a space of possibilities and anything that is times a godzillion, will I destroy and uncreate it all? Yes, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pop, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So we would like to create a world that we desire. We would like to use our life and every moment of our life and every experience of our life to experience it, enjoy it, and become better versions of ourselves. We can use every moment of our life to fulfill our purpose of being here in this life. Now, in our default mode where we are resisting and reacting and saying, okay, why is this happening? Why is that happening? This should not be happening and that should be happening. We lose sight of what is possible and the purpose of our existence over here. So I have another question for you. What is your purpose that you are trying to fulfill in this, in this life? Yeah? If you don't know it, what can you create? See, either you know what your purpose is and you're fulfilling it. And it's okay from time to time you get, you know, but cowed or, you know, you get sidetracked or distracted. And you come back. But if you haven't even got in touch with what your purpose is, and you haven't even declared what your purpose is, then uh, perhaps we are like a rudderless ship, you know, drifting from one place to another, wherever the wind takes us, wherever the circumstances take us. And if you're okay with that, then that's okay also. Then you can sing a song, Ke Sara Sara. Whatever will be, will be. And if you actually believe in that, nothing wrong with that either. Huh? But that's not the case either. Have you noticed that? 
So all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of it. So what's my purpose? And if I don't have it, what purpose am I willing to declare? You know, like we say, just for today, I will live in an attitude of gratitude. We do that, no? And what a lovely way to live it is, to live in a state of gratitude. In a similar fashion, what if you say, just for today, this is my purpose. You're welcome to change it if you want to later. So let's do this wonderful exercise where I ask every one of you to say, what's your purpose for the day? And don't tell me I will finish all my pending jobs that you have to do anyway. You know, today I will drive my daughter to school that you have to do anyway. What's your purpose for the day? Or what can you do to make this day a day of something unique, some purpose that you fulfill, something that you accomplish that you can be proud of at the end of the day? What can that be? Yeah, can you open up your mind and your imagination, your generosity or whatever it is that you mean to wake up and declare, hey, today, this is what I'm going to achieve. This is what I'm going to accomplish. This is going to be the purpose for my day today. See, even if you have a larger purpose, you understand? Even if you have a bigger purpose, okay, okay after five years, will I'll be achieving this. Every day can be one step further in the direction of that desire or that dream or that purpose, isn't it? So what's it going to be today? Yes, Red D. Karu, good morning. Morning, sir. Morning. I want to live every moment of my life in a creative mode, sir. Wonderful, wonderful and wonderful. But how are you going to do that? Yes, sir, every day I'm going, today being the Sunday, I have a lot of time for myself. Otherwise, uh, I, was, I was going to office and I was in uh, most of the time, Automatically, I was going to default mode and coming back to creative mode. Today, I have full time uh, for me. So I thought uh, whatever I want to have in my life, I just want to enjoy it. Yeah, but what? See, how is it? See, this is a wonderful thought. Beautiful, wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary. I'm so happy for you. Sir, but yes, what sir. is going to be visible? You yeah, know? Yesterday, uh, uh, Sarge said about the importance of will. Today, I'm writing that. I'm preparing oh, for will. Wow, now that's something. So you're going to enjoy writing your will? Huh? Yes, sir, definitely, 100%. Yeah, a lot of people enjoy writing their will, no? Yeah. How they enjoy, no? I'm cutting this bugger out. I'm cutting this bugger out. I will leave only the donkey to this fellow. And they feel very happy about it. Yeah. Okay, good. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right, so who's next? Hello. You know, the moment we ask, yes, yes, Yonita. Good morning, everybody. Um, yesterday, I went for a, a tribute to Lata Mangeshkar, and uh, I had the most amazing evening of my life. I mean, compared to all the other mall uh, evenings. But uh, today I decided if in those four year hours that I was there, I forgot the outer world. I was inside and I thoroughly enjoyed. And I said, today I am going to spend one hour just listening to the songs. You know? <laughs> so I'm happy. The world is happy. So today I decided I am going to sing for one hour. Wow. You can sing this song. Sapna ki duniya hai. There used to be a song called Sapna ki duniya hai. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you very much. So that's come something very creative if it makes you happy. I hope it makes the listeners happy also. <laughs> so you can lock yourself up in your room and do it. So that we, you can hear your melodious voice. But don't underestimate the power of your voice also, no? 
you can sing to people and make them lose weight, I suppose. <laughs> Good one, sir. Good one. <laughs> You're pulling me my leg early morning. <laughs> no, seriously, who knows? I mean, I haven't heard you sing. So I can't sing, sir. That's why I can appreciate. I had this feel. I used to always say, my daughter is a ballerina. She will dance. My husband sings all the uh, instruments because typical uh, Catholic going family where the boys are sent to learn the guitar and the girls are sent to learn piano. And every time my mother tried to uh, get me to go for piano classes, I would take my fees, go and join a library and get four books a day to read. And she was so tired. She just gave it up that I will never have music. And now it's amazing how, uh, you know, and the surprise was that being Catholic and I love Hindi music, the yesteryear's uh, songs, you know. And so today morning, I decided I am a friend. I know Vaida Rehman. And yesterday, the guide songs just drove me crazy because I was picturizing her. I promised I'm going to even go and have a cup of tea. So she always tells me, come and have tea with me. And two years, I have forgotten all about her. I promised myself today. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You know, I, I'm sure you made a couple of people very excited like Gopalji and so many others who love music, you know. Okay, so what's it going to be? So she's going to spend one hour enjoying herself singing. I'm sure she'll do karaoke so that she can also listen to something. And she just doesn't want to listen to the sound of her own voice, I'm sure. But even if you do, so what? Okay, so what is the purpose you're going to fulfill today? So we know what uh, Reddy Garu is going to do. He's going to write his will. It can be a fun activity also, huh? writing the will. I've been trying to write my will for the last one month. Every time I start writing the will, I don't know what to write in it. So now I'm waiting. So I've written one part of it. Thank you for reminding me, Reddy Garu. So what's the purpose you're going to fulfill today? What are you going to accomplish today? Today is a Sunday. Tomorrow will be Monday. Then you won't know what to do. Yes, all you wonderful people. I'm sure you're waiting for me to shut up so you can talk. <laughs> Sir, I want to talk to my old friends with whom I not talk for a long time. Great. You want to, no? Yeah, I will. I will speak to them today. Okay, that's much better. I thought you'll only want to hold day. No, no, I will speak to them, them today. Okay, how many of them? At least three of them. Uh, My forty years old friends, forty fifty years old friends. Yeah, so you can tell them. Wo zamana tha. Wo bhi ek zamana tha. <laughs> wo hi yeah, zamana yeah. tha. Ye kya hai? <laughs> yes. Very good. Thank you very, very good much. time together. Yeah. Okay. What else? Somebody else? <laughs> you know why I'm doing this? Can anybody tell me why am I asking you to do this? This is the answer to the question. What can I add to my life today that will allow me to create a future that I desire? You know, many of you who are a uh, little young like me are growing younger day by day. The question <laughs> really comes up, you know. I mean, all this activity and all this hoo-ha and this thing going on, I mean, what the hell am I accomplishing, you know? See, for our, our meter is running out, so we think a little bit more. The younger people, I do not know. You know, young people like Sakshi, you know, they have so much time with them, you know, another 70, 80 years. So what are you going to accomplish today? Yes, Sakshi ji. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. So, how is it, you know, that uh, there's this, I can't say bad phase, but a tough phase which I'm going through. Uh, I'm working on my divorce. And then there is this major stamp duty issue related to my flat, which has come up. So at times, this all bogs you down, brings you down. 
and you you feel it's so tough to you know sail through and keep up the brave face when you're facing all these problems and plus you have to work plus you have to take care of your daughter and your household running but whatever has come has come but to face it rather face it positively so maybe something no no not maybe sure something positive will come out of it and i'll be free of all these major issues so i'm going to be proactive have a positive attitude towards it and what needs to be done there are certain communication certain framing drafting needs to be done i'm going to do that for first half of the day without an iota of doubt or negativity i'm going to put all my positivity all my uh, best wishes and all a uh, uh, good or attitude in it and the later half of the day i'm going to relax and watch some web series to take my mind off and just to make me feel that this is sunday this is not a work day and uh, i'll get sort of rejuvenated for the coming week coming week which is going to be uh, quite hectic uh, physically also and mentally also thank you wow 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 wait 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 you're not going anywhere sakshi ji you want should i give you some hacks you know hack aajkal hack bolte sab kuch yeah so first hack is what if you don't call this situation a problem you use the word problem na it is a situation yeah. right like every day we have so many some situations we judge and say very good some situation we say problem some situation will say wow another adventure now question is how do you want to treat it hai yeah. na so you can treat this as azadi aa rahi hu main जिंदगी आ रही हूं मैं सारे बंजन छोड़ दो यू नो दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट कि वाओ यू नो छुटकारा मिल जाएगा नया जीवन शुरू हो जाएगा सो दैट्स वन वे टू लुक एट इट एंड इफ यू कांट डू दैट देन आई विल गिव यू सिंपल फार्मूला यू नो कैन यू से दिस विद मी यस आई विल एवरीथिंग इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ व्हाट इट अपीयर्स टू बी एंड नथिंग इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ व्हाट इट अपीयर्स टू बी बोलो बोलो एवरीथिंग इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ व्हाट इट अपीयर्स टू बी एवरीथिंग इज ऑपोजिट व्हाट इट अपीयर्स टू बी नथिंग इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ व्हाट इट अपीयर्स टू बी एंड एवरीथिंग इज द ऑपोजिट यू नो दीस आर द टाइम्स व्हेन वी से इट बिकॉज़ ऑल दिस ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस दैट वी अटैच टू देखो दुनिया के लिए है हाय हाय यू नो ओ डिवोर्स हो रहे मेरा हुआ हुआ है मेरे को पता है क्या है है ना रोते हुए आते हैं सब हम तो हंसता हुआ जाएगा राइट व्हेन वी गो फॉर वेटिंग वी गो विद भंगड़ा एंड डांसिंग ऑन द हॉर्स व्हेन वी गो अवे फ्रॉम इट वी शुड डू डबल भंगड़ा बिकॉज़ आफ्टर ऑल देयर इज अ रीजन व्हाई वी आर गोइंग ना राइट सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज कि आवर माइंड विल गेट फिक्स्ड ऑन द अटेंशन ऑन द जजमेंट्स दैट हैज बीन इंप्लांटेड इन अस है ना राइट इसमें लुक्स के इसमें क्या कमी है कि हस्बैंड इसको छोड़ रहा है उनको क्या पता है कौन किसको छोड़ रहा है राइट right? वो हमेशा सोचेंगे हस्बैंड इसको छोड़ रहा है अल्लाह हस्बैंड ही ये वाला हैसियत है उसकी तुम नहीं छोड़ सकती हो यू आर यू गेटिंग इट सो व्हेन यू वांट टू फ्री योर ब्रेन ऑफ ऑल दैट नॉनसेंस दैट्स गोइंग ऑन बिहाइंड समवेयर ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज एवरीथिंग इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ व्हाट इट अपीयर्स टू बी एंड नथिंग opposite what it appears to be and then you can get back to the celebration that life is because it is you can celebrate everything right right if joining can be a celebration separation can be a separation uh, celebration too i mean who said that it has to be i i and who who 
there's one lady who wanted a divorce from her husband okay because the husband had found a young filly and he wanted to marry her and he wanted a divorce so she says main dekhti hu tu kitna divorce leta hai mere to so 10 years main dekhti hu and both of them are very good friends of mine you know? so i told her i said yeah such a wonderful person you are tu apni life ko pause button kyun laga rahi hai you understand life ko pause button kyun laga rahi hai what do you mean pause button main dikhaungi usko तुम उसकी तरफदारी मत करो ये है वो है ऐसे मिलो मैं किसी की तरफदारी नहीं कर रहा हूं मैंने कहा इफ यू कंटिन्यू टू फाइट लाइक दिस एंड यू कीप फाइंडिंग रीजंस फॉर इट सो शी इज अ वेरी स्मार्ट शी सेज कि मैं देखती हूं कैसे करेगा सो शी मेड अ डिमांड ऑन हिम व्हिच वाज इंपॉसिबल फॉर हिम टू फुलफिल आई वांट 1 करोड़ रुपीस तब मैं तेरे को छोडूंगी उसको पता है वो सब कुछ बेचेगा तब भी नहीं दे सकता but when she started thinking pause button what does that mean hear it so then she started looking at the situation that okay why should i fight bhai chhodna to hai hi she didn't want him either hear it she certainly did not want her husband who wants another person then why does she want to hold on to him? so there is a saying in english you know you cut your nose to spite your face you know and because of all this nonsense going on in the head she was uh, now what do we call it in our language we'll say state of reaction and resistance was going on right so this goes on for various reasons right so uh, all of us now this is a kind of situation you are calling it problem other people will have other kind of situation they call problem everybody has something which they call problem right somebody has uh, now yesterday my wife's friend rang up to tell her ke yaar my son is not able to lose his weight ye wo he's been to so many nutritionist ye wo so you do something for him so here i'm thinking i'm not able to do anything about my weight what can i do for him right but sometimes you know what happens physician can heal others but not himself so i came out with a formula that maybe he needs some work to be done at this level as well as this level and this level also so now maybe we will offer him a combo therapy you know so we'll give him a combo but all this is possible when your mind is not fixed on the distractors okay easy way get rid of them everything is the opposite of what it appears to be so good enjoy the day today is the happiest day of your life distribute some laddus no no distribute some health laddus make a cake right today is the first day of your new life that kind of a thing i mean who's stopping us here yes sir thank you sir thank you so much yeah god bless you you know may new possibilities and opportunities show up every minute of your life right and like somebody said you know our one big guru called vernery said you know what if god came and told you that this is what you are supposed to do would you be happy doing it or not you would be happy right so he said this is what god told you to do so be happy congratulations thank you for sharing who's next देखो ऐसा है यू बेटर स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अदरवाइज आई टेल योनिका टू स्टार्ट सिंगिंग यू माइट एक्चुअली एंजॉय इट हु नोस एनीथिंग इज पॉसिबल सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर आई वुड लाइक टू हैंड ऑफ माय शेयर क्विकली या 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 आई यू वांट योर शेयर द मोमेंट दे स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट विल नो दे विल स्टार्ट टॉकिंग व्हाट अबाउट माय शेयर तो ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके गो अहेड <laughs> wonderful sir uh, and i'm going to connect with uh, people today and share my love by the way i will make them happy connect okay you better connect with the right kind of people eh? no dubai marina and all <laughs> <laughs> yeah but this is nice yeah But do you actually have some people in mind, or what? 
uh, my close relatives, my I'm, I haven't connected with them properly for a long time. So if I speak to them, they'll feel so happy. Yeah, make sure it's a video call. Yes, sure. No doubt, sir. Yeah, because when people see your smile, they just become happy. Even a sad <laughs> guy will become happy looking at you. That's a it's great test. Radiance, you know, makes people mm -hmm. feel happy. Anna, am I right, everybody? Yes, also yes. Everything, everything. Uh, thumbs up, you know. Yeah. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it who else? compliment. Thank you very much. What are you going to create today? What are you going to... What purpose are you going to accomplish today? Come on, the rest of you. You know, I'm a very big rascal, you know. I force you to think and nobody wants to think. Salla, sir, you have lectures, right? Why are you asking them? Go to lectures, you will get a lot of lectures on YouTube. What are you doing with the lecture? Are you sitting with them? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, Shakti, Rajendran. How are you? Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Doing good, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, today, I'm going to create my balance sheet, uh, which I was resisting for such a long time. Today, I'm going to do that, sir. Okay. Good. Good. The bow, good the bow. Very nice. Thank you very much. Anybody, anything interesting coming to mind? Now, don't give me that BS called, you know, I will spend time with my family. Okay. What will you do when you spend time with them? I don't know. I will spend time with my family. Together we will watch the TV. Yes, yes, Mr. Mathur. Sir, I'm, uh, Hanji, good morning. I'm going to Jaipur. Uh, my daughter is right now dropping me to the Dhalakua. There are four, friends, four of friends are going in a single car to Jaipur. So we are, I'm going to be a teenager again. And uh, one of our friends' son is getting married in Jaipur. So I will be there for two and a half days. So I think for me, this is the first break in ages. You know, a break from my life. Not break from your life. What are you talking about? My home, my office, the break is gone. Ah, break from my routine. Yeh bolo, break from my life. Haan, break from my routine. Haan, break from my normal routine. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So, I think we should start the day on a right note. And uh, the best way to do that is to ask Mr. Kunen Shahidi to lead you through the silent laughter exercise. Hello. Hello, sir. Very good morning. Morning. morning so, laughter exercise. Guys, as you know, what do we do? We have the power to bring emotions, energy, what so do we want? It is within our hand. And what do we do? We laugh silently. And for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start and going to excite you to create that power of energy. As I say, one, two, and three. And three, we will start laughing, okay? So let's do it. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, louder, louder. <laughs> You can't generate, you can't create, everything is possible. <laughs> Come on. Carry on, carry on. Sakshiji, come on, come on, Sakshiji. <laughs> Gopalji, come on. <laughs> very good, very good. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> yes. Keep on smiling, guys. Keep on laughing. Keep on generating power. Everything is possible. You can do it. Yes. If I can do, you can do. Great. Yes, sir. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Remember one thing, we are all energetic beings 
And as energetic beings, we have complete access to all the energy that's available in this world. Okay. You want abundance in your life, right? What do you want abundance of? You want abundance of love. You want abundance of happiness. You want abundance of money. You want abundance of respect. What else do you want? Hello? Time. That's all we want, right? Time, sir. Now, my question is, if you, if you desire something, there should be somebody who wants to fulfill your desire also, no? So in a world where everybody desires everything, but nobody is willing to offer anything, how is your desire getting fulfilled? So the world seems to be full of takers and takers and takers. Where are the givers? So does it mean ki in order to take, you will have to snatch it from someone? Chinna padega kya? No. Right. So now on the uh, on the natural level, let us say that the energy will flow when there is space for it to flow. Correct. If your almara is empty then you will fill it up, right? But most of the people's almaras are full and they want to fill it up more. The house is full, there's no place to keep things, but you want more stuff, right? So how do you accelerate the flow of everything in your life, right? Energy is there in abundance. Everything is energy, okay? Love is energy. Everything is energy. Energy, there is no shortage of it, okay? Energy is unlimited. The problem is that the flow of energy is blocked, okay? So, the, 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 the thing of interest is, okay, how do I start the flow? How do I get it going? So there is, there are two things. One is that the way you be will allow the flow to happen. Two is what you do may allow the flow to happen. So if you look closely at what you and I are doing in our life, what are we focused on? They say wherever we focus, energy goes there. Okay? Dhyan. Hindi mein bolte na? Meditation ko bhi dhyan bolte do you know what we are trying to do when we learn dhyana? We are learning to get our attention in our control. Again, the day your dhyana is listening to you, today your dhyana does not listen to you. Your dhyana is taking you where it wants to take you. Have you noticed that? Kahi tikta nahi hai apka dhyan. Now, suppose you are the master of your dhyan. Suppose you are the master of your attention. And I'm going to assume for a minute that you are, okay? I'm going to assume that you are a master of your dhyan. In other words, you are the master of your attention. Where would you like to put your attention then? If you are the master of your dhyan, where would you put it? All the desires. So that's uh, giving or getting? Giving. 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 Is the desire? I mean, most of our desires are giving or taking desires? Taking. Taking. Right. But have you ever considered the possibilities that giving and taking occur simultaneously? Okay. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, have you ever considered why is it that when as a, let's say mature human beings, we know very well that we should put our attention where we should put it. Then why are we not able to do that? Because there is something over which you don't have any control. That takes your attention away. Have you noticed our attention drifts away when you are in a state of reaction or resistance. Then your attention is not in your control, is it? It is pulled by that thing that is taking your attention away. So in access, we call it, these are your uh, distractor implants. 
anger, sorrow, rage, fury, jealousy, sex, business, love, all these things, they can become distractive implants and they are solidly there blocked in brain number two. You're getting it? So in Access, we have a technique where we physically touch 32 points on your head and it helps you to release all that stuff that is blocking and automatically taking your attention where it should not go. Okay? So you can unblock that. Now in the meantime, there are a couple of things that you can do. If you want to have the flow in your life, right? What do you think you'll have to, will, you'll have to give up? The root of all our, uh, what shall I say, problems. One of the things if you keep judgments. giving up. Huh? Judgments. Yeah, absolutely. Right? If we can keep, see, you may never be able to stop judging, but at least you will be aware whenever you are judging. Okay? And when you surround yourself by people who will tell you when you are judging. See, like when Sakshi was sharing, I have a problem. Right? So I immediately told her, no, it's not your, your judgment is calling it problem. It's only a situation. When you can see it as a situation, then you are free to look at that situation and say, wow, is it beneficial to me? Or is it high, high situation the way I might be looking at it? Because the world's conditioning says that this is a high, high situation. Isn't it? It will be high, high for the world. It will be high, high. Now you have a choice when you know that your judging makes you have no choice. Right? So all these things which block the flow of your energy, you will see the connection somewhere or the other with the judgment and see what you can do with it. Okay, that's number one. Now, let me ask you a question. What is generosity? Anybody wants to say what is generosity? Yonita, what's generosity? Giving something without asking. Okay. Anything else? Generosity of spirit. So That's giving it. till it hurts. Huh? Giving till it hurts. Giving what? The giving knowledge or giving ideas right. giving until feelings. it hurts. Until it hurts us. Hello. Now, I don't know if that's generosity if you're giving till it hurts. But it's, 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 it's how we look at it. I mean, that's just a way of saying, right? I'm sure you don't mean it like that. Okay, good. Giving till it hurts, he said. So what is the spirit of generosity? I promise you it's not money. Okay? It's not giving away all your positions. It's giving service. Yeah. Giving yeah. your time, sir. Yeah, giving your kindness. See, it is a, it is an energy that you be. Okay? And it is an energy that you be where you are a gift of contributing to somebody's life and somebody's work. You know, every time you speak here, you could speak to negate someone or you could speak with the intention of contributing. That is generosity, right? When you are operating, for me, that is what it means, that when I'm operating in this world with a spirit of service, Right, with the spirit of wanting to make a difference to people. So it's not only money. Most of us think generous means, you know, he's going to give away everything. Giving away till it hurts. Now, this is very important because, you know, when you are generous, there is a lot of flow of energy into your life also. Because at the energetic level, you are giving. One of the easiest thing to give is regard honor, right? You have to be very generous to be in allowance. You have to be generous not to judge.
right? Does it cost anyone anything for you to give your love, or your respect, or benevolence? Any energy that will contribute to someone, you know? So when somebody is trying to tell you something, when we are uh, listening with skepticism, is that an act of generosity? Do you know that if you cannot be generous, you cannot even receive? You check and see. If you are not being generous, are you open to receive at that time? Yeah, so since it's important, I understand we it's important for us to fulfill all our desires and I'm the one who keeps poking you to look at your desires. So I don't think there's anything wrong with having desires. Okay. But if I only want to get without and, you know, at the cost of somebody else, if I'm not looking at the greater good, if I'm coming and I'm operating from a spirit of generosity, I'd love to have what I want, or what I desire. And I don't, it, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to snatch anything from someone or I'll deprive something from someone. Yeah. So that's, that's my little, uh, what shall I say, pointer for the day today. That just for today, will I allow myself to be in a spirit of generosity? So earlier I asked you, what are you going to accomplish today? What is the purpose are you going to fulfill today? And whatever it is that you're trying to fulfill, would you do that with the spirit of generosity? I think generous people don't operate from me, they operate from we. Yes. And they're empathetic. What is that? Can you repeat what you said, Gopalji? Empathy. Empathy, yeah, okay. See, generosity even uh, includes the generosity to listen to somebody's criticism without reacting to it. Yes. Okay. Generosity is that when somebody has learned something new and he's sharing it with you, you know, and you are just willing to receive that without being, just a moment, please. Somebody's at the door. Yeah. But uh, don't you think uh, Vetrij, it's a bit challenging because uh, what happens with me is that uh, when I want to be generous, think that uh, what will happen if uh, that person is uh, not uh, reacting of my generosity, my goodness. So then uh, I take it back, which is, I think, a not good habit. It is not generosity then. <laughs> okay, sir. See, if I heard you correctly, what you're saying is that when you're being generous to someone and he does not respond in a way that makes you feel good about your generosity, that's what you're saying, right? Did yes, I understand sir. it? Yes, sir. So in that case, is it generosity? See, mm. like for example, um, sometimes people tell me that what I'm doing every morning is an act of generosity, okay? So suppose I start thinking, yeah, I'm doing this with so much of this thing and only this many people are coming, right? So why should I do it? What is the use of my generosity? Then is it generosity? The expectation. Right? Then it is being generous with an expectation. Yes. That somebody will reciprocate and this and yes. that. But it's human tendency also, isn't it? It happens, right? I mean, if you look at it this way, the way Kunan is saying is based on certain, let us say, practical experiences. Correct? In the past, we have had moments when we were very generous. Yes or no? But when we did, did not see that generosity reflected in others, then that became a distractor implant for us. So I'm the only idiot who's being nice in this world, eh? Why should I? Now, that is where our reactive mind is taking over, no? Okay, if I'm being generous, I'm just being generous because that's who I am. You know, living with that spirit of generosity.
on the contrary you must be happy that you that you got that level of spiritual development to have that generosity in you yeah definitely yes vetri so uh, i just get a thought which uh, completely supports the discussion uh, i see generosity is nothing but becoming light and uh, being soft sir uh, when the moment we speak about generosity we speak as well automatically comes into mind and some expectation comes let us you just be light and uh, soft even other point of view comes to assist generosity Wait, giving light our is point already, light is all right i don't understand what you mean by soft Uh, it's another word, sir. Allowing energy to flow. Ha, And sometimes be rigid. Yeah. So, but, uh, tell me, what could be the biggest act of generosity that you can do for yourself and for others? Ah, uh, not being rigid, sir. There are other point of views in the world. That's it. So sometimes not being rigid is not an act of generosity. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. <laughs> it's a. It's a. But uh, on a lighter note. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Uh, seriously now is it an act what is the biggest act of generosity that you can do for yourself and for everybody else in this world you are very familiar with it all of you that non judgment one which one is that non judgment allowance that yeah and it can only happen when you are allowance obviously is the biggest act of generosity compassion sir yeah that well no sir all this is possible when you don't have any judgments yes. the biggest act of generosity is when you stop judging yourself and you when you stop judging others and you stop judging situations and then you are in allowance and allowance allowance is what that's compassion karuna and it's more than compassion we getting that that's the biggest act of generosity that you can give to this world because if you look at the root cause of all problems on this planet it's judgment and i am right you know isn't that the cause of all the problems that we face judgment and i am right because i am right is based on judgment also So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want you to go forth and not multiply, but go forth and spread the generosity to this planet. And let today, the Sunday, be a wonderful, wonderful, magnificent, and extraordinary day for all you wonderful, magnificent, extraordinary people. God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you, you also, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Thank morning you, conversation. Thank you, sir. Be safe. Stay blessed. Thank, Thank you. Everyone. Have fun. God bless everyone. Start saying good in everybody. Thank you, sir.